in Section 8, Division 1, anytime we go over an inch and a half in thickness, we're required to do post weld stress relief. When we're putting in four inches of weld or three and a half inches of weld, and that puts a lot of stresses into the weld, which you know puts undue stress on the material. So we're just uh, going up to 1100, 1150 degrees. And uh, our choices were to ship that product out to a, a third party uh, that has an oven able to put this thing in and do the work and in northern Ohio there's only a couple places that have the ability to do that so um, one of the first things we looked at is we, we started looking at just how can we do this process in-house. Oven technology forces us to heat the whole vessel where with the, uh, the Miller product that we're using with the induction heat treating we can just pinpoint that to, to those areas. So uh, we decided to buy the product, bring it in, start to implementing it. It saved us a tremendous amount of time in just trucking and handling the product for one but then also the energy savings and the, you know, the big thing is being in control of our own product now. Now it's not going out to a third party vendor, you know, we're in control of the process of doing the, the stress relief with the recorder on it and uh, the way we set up, uh, we've, you know, we've trained our guys, you know, they have a procedure that they run through, so we're particularly easy to meet the ASME code requirements and we're doing it right in-house now in a small area without going outside, so it's been a big advantage for us too. When we sat down to do the economics of, of looking at bringing the process in-house ourselves, we figured that we had about six hours of, of trucking and handling in each vessel. You know, plus it's, uh, you know, a 200-mile round trip on one of our tractors burning diesel fuel and, and uh, such too, not just that six man hours that was, was taken and wear and tear on equipment. And so we, we were, you know, literally able to cut at least a couple of days when we look at um, you know half a day's just in more than half a day's just in shipping getting it up there and back but then we also had to deal with the scheduling of the oven and things like that because you know people that have these large ovens as we talked about before they don't want to run a half full oven you know they have they need to have a full oven so we were running into situations where you know they only wanted to run their oven once a week you know, so then we build in a couple more days of latency just waiting on them to get their oven full. And then based on what parts they were putting on and the number of thermocouples they had available would determine the number of our vessels they could put into the oven and things like that. So it, it's definitely helped us shorten our lead times, which is very important to our customers because they're waiting a long, long period of time to get them anyhow.